Hi guys, this is going to be for my Geminis and it's going to be for the week. I'm a couple days late, but from the 9th to the 14th of January, I'm going to be using my Cosmic Tarot deck. And my Learning Tarot Cards deck. So Gemini, let's see what messages we have for you. I wasn't feeling well, okay? That's why my videos are a little late. I still am not 100%, but I'm way better than what I was. So Gemini, this is going to be for you. Two of Cups, Unified Love. This is past energy. Two of Cups. <laughs> the Prince of Wands. That energy is usually pretty impulsive. The Emperor. Grounded. Could be a father figure in your life. The King of Wands, a fire energy. Possibly a Leo, uh, um, Sagittarius, or an Aries. But I see, Gemini, that you're in your head. Why are you being emotional? And then there's the King of Pentacles. Now, the King of Pentacles could be Virgo. A Virgo, a Taurus, or a Capricorn energy. Now, also, the kings could mean that you're just going after, like, the king of wands could be about something about business. The king of pentacles could be about money and business, you know? So, you got the king of pentacles, uh, king of wands. Four of Cups, the King of Pentacles, the Princess of Swords, some kind of communication that will give you clarity, the Two of Wands, you shall stand firm again, the Nine of Swords, you're going to be doing some overthinking. So let's see, the Two of of cups past energy. You feel a little off balance where love is concerned. Ace of Swords. This could be some communication. And then the Ten of Swords, which could mean painful ending, rock bottom, you know, a breakup. So you were a little off balance financially. And emotionally. Love. It ended. There was some kind of communication that ended. 
Prince of Wands. Let's see. You feel like you got a big load to carry. You were overwhelmed. You're overloaded. You feel like you had a lot of responsibilities, or you do have a lot of responsibilities. And I see, um, I'm sorry, that was the ten of um ten of wands, and now I got the four of wands. You're having some conflict. You're having some kind of conflict. In the past you thought your wishes came true. I got the Eight of Swords next. After your wish is coming true. Although your wishes came true, you feel like really restricted, tied, trapped. You feel like you were victimized for some reason. It could be that you came into some unexpected money. And you thought there was going to be a reunion. And some celebration. I got the Three of Cups. Okay. King of Wands, what are you trying to say? Hmm. You had an ending. Something ended for you. And all they gave you a little extra responsibility. Your wishes were still fulfilled. But then you got knotted up inside. And then you started looking at everything differently. And you started seeing what was actually around you. Uh, your, your happy family. You could take care of your family. So you can celebrate. But there's something coming very fast, Gemini. Chariot. The King of Wands might be coming in. You are the magician. Okay. And the Page of Cups. Use your intuition. Four of Cups. Some kind of loving comfort is coming your way. And I do see you're going to be giving and receiving, so get out of your, of your head. You, you will have balance. You will have happiness. The Sun card. The Six of, um, the six of Wands. The victory. And on top of the King of Pentacles is the Death card, which does not necessarily mean something wrong. It just means the end of a cycle and the beginning of something new. Like shedding the old for the new. And then right after the Death card or the second card that flew out was the Ace of Wands, a new beginning. So, and good news is on the way. So that could be the transformation. It probably is because the Star card just came there. The Death card, the Ace of Wands, and the Star card. Death, Ace of Wands, and the Star card. Mm-hmm. 
Hmm, somebody gonna propose to you, Gemini. You gonna feel like a young woman again. Ooh, you gonna feel energetic. Hey, did you pay attention to her? Young Gemini. Princess of Swords, young and fiery. Hmm, so somebody's bringing something to you. And then here comes your adult self, the Queen of Swords. You got to be clear about what you're wanting. Yes, you have. Um, the card says one who has suffered hardships. So yes, you have suffered some hardships, okay? But now is the time for you to stand up. The universe is building something for you. This is the Three of Pentacles. Good Lord, I do not like being sick. For some reason, my, and my whole mouth is just dry. I can only chew so much gum. So the universe is building something for you. Something that will make you stand up right. Oh. Somebody's something that's gonna bring you a little anxiety. It's gonna make you worry why. There's nothing to worry about. The wheel of fortune came next. Stop worrying yourself, man. What it's gonna be is gonna be. Yes, there was a painful ending, but there's someone else coming. You got good luck on your side. And new beginnings, just like the death card. Ending in the beginning, shedding the old for the new, the fool. It's about new beginnings also. Oh, why are you going to be in your head? The nine of swords, why? Why? Mm, some kind of addiction. Oh, it could be depression. It could be hopelessness. It could be something unhealthy. Look at that, the Ten of Cups. You're going to find a lot of inner strength. Something is, um, you're going to find your strength to overcome whatever this devil is. This, oh, I'm sorry, my back. The Nine of Swords. Nine of Swords, you're in your head. This could be the devil. It could be jealousy. It could be obsession. It could be just so many different little things, okay? It could be many, many things. It could be actual addictions to it. could be addiction to food, to alcohol, to some kind of drug or whatever, you know? Are you okay, Dunkins? But I see the happy family over that. And I would say, and then came the strength card. And I say, I will say that you're going to overcome that. You're going to face whatever this unhealthy, whatever this unhealthy attachment is. Okay. I hope that resonated with you guys. You take care. I love you guys dearly. And I'm just I really am struggling this week. <laughs> But I'm going to make sure everything gets back to normal. Because I'm nearly finished with this week. I didn't plan to get sick, guys. And then I had lost my little puppy. Um, I had to put him to sleep. He not a, wasn't a puppy. He was a big grown dog. But he was big. He was big. So that was devastating to say the least 
So I love you guys. You take good care of yourself, okay? And I will see you soon.